Today we are going to talk about how to share your pictures with your science teacher using Google Drive. The first thing that you're going to need to do is to get into Google in whatever browser that you choose. Once you're in Google, you're going to sign yourself in to your account. Now remember to use your school Gmail account and not a personal account. Your school email is lastname.firstname at student.wsalem.k12.wi.us and your password is WSSD followed by your lunch number. Once you're signed in, you're going to see that you're signed in over on the side, upper right hand corner, and at the top of your screen we want to go to Drive. In the black bar at the top we want to go to Drive. And now that we're in Drive, we're going to create a couple of things in order to store our pictures. So the first thing over on the left hand side, you're going to see the word Create. We're going to click on that button and we're going to choose the word Folder, which has a gray folder in front of it. And you are going to name that folder with your login initials. And it, if you put the year on there, it doesn't matter, that is your choice. And then you are going to put the science teacher's initials, so D for Damon or J for Yane, and then you're going to type the hour that you are in that teacher's class. So if I am in Mr. Damon's eighth hour, I'm going to put a D and an 8 after that. Right? So it's your login initials, then you can space, and then the initial, either a J or a D, depending who your science teacher is, and the hour that you have science. Then you're going to click Create. That is going to create a folder for you in your drive. And so now I can see this pop up on my screen. I want to share this folder with my science teacher. So I'm going to click in the box at the beginning of this folder. And when I do that, I get more choices up here at the top. And I'm going to click on this person that has a little plus sign. And if I hold my arrow there, you can see it says share. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to show who I'm going to share this with. Right? So I want to share this with my science teacher. So if this is uh, Mr. Damon, I'm going to put, start typing Mr. Damon's name here, and hopefully it will pop up. And if it doesn't, then I need to start typing his whole email on there. And so I'll go over both of these. So with Mr. Damon, it's damon.randy at wsalem.k12. Dot wi dot us. So it's very similar to yours except it doesn't have the word student in there. Right? For Mr. Yane, you're going to do yane.justin at wsalem.k12.wi.us. Now, underneath the person that you added, it says notify people via email. We don't need to do that. Mr. Damon and Mr. Gain don't need to receive a lot of emails, so we're going to take that check mark off of that. And then we are going to click on the Share and Save button. Now it says that you skipped an invitation, meaning we didn't send them an email, and we know that, so that's okay. We'll click OK on that. And now in this box we can see who we shared this with. So I have shared this with Mr. Damon. And if that is accurate, then I'm going to click Done. Now this folder changed. It now has a little person in it and that's just showing me that this is a shared folder. Now I'm going to open up this folder. I'm going to do that by double clicking on it. And I know I'm in this folder because it says I'm in my drive and it says um, my name of my folder right here. So I know I'm in that particular folder. So the next thing I'm going to do is upload my pictures. And to upload, right next to the Create button is the Upload button. And I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to choose Files. Now, from this point, you're a little bit on your own. You need to know where you saved your files, your pictures, that you need to show your science teacher. So you need to say, where, where did I save those? Did I put them in my desktop? Did I put them in my documents? Are they in iPhoto? If they're in iPhoto, I would scroll down and go down to Photos on the left-hand side, and then I would look for where those photos might have been 
placed, whether they be in some of my events or where those pictures might be. So I'm, I have some temporary pictures here that I'm going to uh, load up just as an example. Now if I click once on a picture, it gets a blue square around it, but I don't want to spend a lot of time uploading one picture, one picture, one picture, because you're supposed to have 10 of them. So I can click once on the first picture and then scroll down and find the last picture and I can hold the shift key down and when I click on the last picture it's going to select all of the pictures in between there so I now have all of them selected at once now if they didn't happen to be next to each other like these are you could use the command key and select all the pictures that you needed but once I have them all selected they have a blue box around them that I'm going to click open and it says the items will have the same sharing permis permissions as the folder and that's right that's what I want so I'm going to click on the upload and share now you may not get this box I have this setting up here that asks me about converting we don't need to do any converting so I'm going to hit the start upload so right now I have a box on my screen that's telling me it's uploading these pictures and it tells me what percent once all of the files have been uploaded, it will say Upload Complete, and you'll see Uploaded down here. Then we no longer need this box, so I can close it so it's out of my way. And then I will see all of my images here, and they are within my folder that I have here. Now the beauty of this is because we shared this with your science teacher, your science teacher is going to be able to log into his Google account, go into Drive, and see a folder with your login initials and it's going to have all of these pictures. So he can just open the folder, see what you've turned in. Now what happens if you don't have all your pictures right now or um, maybe you're going to locate another one or take another one yet? It's okay, you can add pictures to this at any time and the science teacher will automatically get those. So it automatically updates itself, which is a pretty cool feature. If I click on my drive over on the left hand side, I won't see the pictures anymore because they are in this folder. But if I need to get back and see those pictures, all I have to do is click on the folder and it's going to show me each one of those pictures. And if I want to actually see the picture itself, I can click on it and it's going to open up the picture and allow me to see this picture. A couple of quick things that may be helpful for you to know. Uh, first of all, someone can comment on your picture if you've given them those rights. So for example, your science teacher could come up under edit and comment on the picture and leave a message for that picture. For example, if um, maybe it was missing something or whatever, they could make a comment. Also, if you for some reason needed to get this picture back again onto your computer, maybe for some reason um, your computer crashed or something like that and you need to get that picture back, you can download it and there's a download arrow here or you can go to file and you can choose download from here same same thing and you can download that picture again right now this picture is saved out on Google and so it is uh, like a backup for you and you are encouraged to back up your other files in the same way hopefully this helps you share your pictures with your science teacher